Hello, my fellow immediately forgotten shower epiphanies. I'm Mr. Church. Have you ever wanted to watch a 25 minute video compiling a list of a bunch of blueprints that you'll never use in your life? Well, I've got the perfect solution for you. Just sit back, relax, grab a very tall glass and smash it over your head because today we're going to be making some blueprints together and that's about it. So see you later and I'll see you in the next video for the four of you that are still here. We're going to be going through a list of the blueprints that I use and pretty much all my builds, uh, over, like not all of them all at once. Jesus, calm down. Let's like here and there. So this is the basic poles and I'm sure you've seen poles before and I mean in the game as well. And uh, you can actually use random stash boxes and floor decor. You don't need the rug and it doesn't need to be touching the pole. They just want you to touch the pole. You know what I mean? But what you need is two posts that are snapped together and some item that can place on the floor. It doesn't need to be touching it. It doesn't need to be a rug. And then you'll be able to place those poles down anywhere you want as long as it's legal. So I'm going to do this with those and I'm also going to do it with the small ones. And I'll show you here that it doesn't need to be touching it or whatever. Um, rugs are not actually magic. They just have a very small hitbox. All the floor items will function the same way as rugs, it's just rugs fit in more places then. So think about the implications with that and go have some fun. The next one we're going to be making is a uh, standalone door, way, wall, let's call it what it is. It's a goddamn wall. Use the catwalk and some floor item. I'm going to be using the cooler because I think that it's cooler than using the rug. You see what I did there? If you didn't, then you should probably go read Dad's Favorite Joke Book. It's a really good read. It's a page turner, I'll tell you the truth. So what you need is in the catwalk attached to that somewhere. And um, as I feel something on my arm, it's probably not a bug, but I'm not going to look because I can't deal with a small breakdown while I'm recording this video. So <clears throat> we're going to do the same with a half wall. And uh, this is so nice to be able to just place down a wall wherever the uh, goddamn fuck you want. Um, and I'm going to do another one that's two half walls together because sometimes it's nice to be able to measure that. You don't need to, though. You can just place a half wall on top of that one. Don't place this here. It'll flip it uh, when you place the blueprint down. It'll be weird. And also, uh, you need to be careful when you're using this one that you have a way to delete those walls. You will either need to destroy the top or the bottom one or have some kind of support underneath or above, meaning like a roof going back to a support system. Otherwise, it won't be able to be deleted because it'll these two walls support each other. Now, codependency is unhealthy in the best of times, but when you're trying to build a camp, it causes all sorts of problems. The next, we're, we're going to be doing a freestanding stair, and I'm using the same exact method. It's just applied to the staircase instead of a wall, and you just need some kind of floor item. It doesn't need to be touching it, it doesn't need to be a carpet, it doesn't need to be near it, um, and a catwalk. Snap to that stair. This will allow you to place it down anywhere you want, and instead of stair floater, which at one point in my life thought was a good name, I'm going to call it free place stair. You can delete the catwalk and the rug and then you have these stairs and I will give a, wor a word of warning. If you place a stair or upper floor attached to that, you won't be able to delete them unless you get some kind of foundation underneath it or get back to a foundation with some support. And you can do this with a catwalk above as well. It doesn't need to be at the bottom. I'm just showing you real quick that that is another option of how to put it together. And this will allow you to place it at the bottom. It more depends on where you think you're going to be sticking it and what end of it you want to be touching the thing. <clears throat> so that's why I would recommend that. So the next one we're going to be doing is <clears throat> a stack of shelves, which I use as a wall in a lot of cases. And you just spam click when you place these. You don't really need a blueprint for this, but sometimes it's nice to hold it up against what you're building before placing anything. So that's why I have that blueprinted. The next thing we're going to be doing uh, is a foundation flip, and this one's a basic uh, flipped into another foundation half a floor, and you can do this um, to create kind of a little bit of a sticking out area of your house if you want to make the footprint of it a certain shape. 
Uh, but you basically just make it like this and that wall needs to be hanging out over the edge because it's facing that way. And that's what's actually going to be causing the flipping because that foundation will snap to the wall. And so it'll flip to snap to it. Instead of the wall flipping and snapping, the foundation does. I don't know why, but who cares? Let's not ask questions. Let's just smile and take it like we've been doing for the other things in the game since it came out. Uh, like the fact that I can't fast travel anywhere until I try 17 times. This is how it ends up happening. And remember, it flips the foundation. It doesn't slide it back. So keep that in mind when you're putting the flooring on like I did not. The next thing we're going to be making is a double door. <clears throat> to make a double door, you simply are going to be putting a door that is open. And you're trying to line it up with a door that's closed so that they'll both swing outward in the same direction even though one of them will say on it close and the other one will say open uh, who cares we don't know how to read anyway so it's not really a big deal uh, this one can take some time to line up so that's why it's a really good blueprint to make because something that's tedious and annoying um, is something that's good to blueprint because you only have to do it one time and then you don't have to mess with it ever again. You don't have to interrupt the flow of your build to try to line shit up when you just want to start building because you already spent hours sweating profusely and sobbing in a workshop someday. So that's why we're doing this here and that's why I'm sure this is making for some great content. And uh, <clears throat> Jimmy, thank you so much for uh, still watching this video. It's just you and me now, champion, and I hope that you're enjoying that big bowl of fruit. Uh, why are you eating fruit? How did I even entice you with fruit? That actually says a lot about your dieting skills, and I hope you contain, continue, and maintain. That's what I just did. What that's, that's called a, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to worry about the rest of that sentence. Um, sometimes that's what happens when you're homeschooled and you learn all the words you know by reading is you get too scared to even try one out so you just move on. That's what we're doing now where uh, if you want to delete a wall that has a door in it you just have to turn it from a doorway to a normal wall and then you'll be able to delete it. So that's how I've been doing that. I forgot to say because I was too busy going on about uh, whatever the hell the word is that I can't say. So this is what you have. Basically, the walls are where you want them. Now you just need to put foundations underneath them. So move that out of the way temporarily to get a foundation there. Slide that back. So you just have these four chunks here. And we actually need to flip this wall as well so that it's facing the correct way for the foundation to flip, uh, to, put, to go down without it moving that. Um, for the blueprint to go down without it moving the foundation is what I meant to say from the beginning. So it's just these four pieces and that is your doorway for the double doors. <clears throat> so I already have one here. I'm going to overwrite it. Um, and then you're just going to test it out to make sure it works. And also there's a little bit of uh, building. Once you place this one down, you have to put a uh, wall or you have to put a foundation down in front of this because the door will be floating. Uh, they didn't want us to just be able to have floating doors everywhere because that would break our immersion. Meanwhile, in by the way, an unrelated note, the Wavy Willard's um, prefab, that giant, you know, basically it's a portable water park that you can place on the side of the mountainside. Go grab it in the Atoms shop. It is worth the Atoms. Beautiful, what a beautiful thing I love to see everywhere I go. Now, once you flip that and change it into a wall so you can delete it and you can delete these foundations underneath it, you have these uh, doors that are left alone the way I ne never should have been as a kid and you have uh, double doors. <clears throat> Simple as that. And now all you need to do, of course, when you have these down is uh, grab some uh, foundations and grab some chunks from the build menu that you probably got for $45 from the Atom Shop and you can kind of jimmy rig some kind of uh, frame around these doors. I've used the Wavy Willard's posts and I've used the iron posts in the past. You can do uh, whatever you want. Really, the sky is the limit. The sky and the crippling build restrictions of the game. Uh, so have fun with this double door. 
Now what we're gonna build is a bay window. Now as I've been building, you may have been noticing little cards in the top corner, really annoying you while you're trying to watch the film. Uh, that's uh, links to builds that I've used uh, these blueprints in the past, if you want to go look and see uh, maybe a scenario where it could have been, you can get kind of an idea of how the blueprints would be used in a build and not just see them sitting here alone. And you might also get another way of seeing how, you know, another another example of me building the blueprint in case my instructions were, I don't know, maybe unclear. That could never happen. So try to line this corner up with the edge of this foundation and uh, the other corner touching up there, right here, so that we can have this angled shape. And once we have these lined up, we can slide that other foundation closer so that they're all touching each other. Um, but right now, we have this um, beautiful space is created. And you, you want to make these so they're they're pretty, pretty uh, well lined up. Because, again, take the time you need with them. Uh, because that's all... That's all time you don't have to spend in your camp later when you want to use the blueprints. And uh, it's really worth a little extra couple minutes getting these perfect. Um, but now what we're going to do is hold that in place with that one. And we're going to go around here and flip these in. This is really important that these walls are facing inwards. Because that's what causes the foundations to flip. And creates the floor uh, in the shape that it's in. And we can go ahead and do that. And once these are in the position that they're in now, uh, we can just pull th those flat ones in. So move this over so that you can pull this without it snapping to the other one and slide it around. And you can push it forward uh, using the holding down on the place button and pushing forward with the joystick or you can just hold the place button and scroll with the mouse if you're on uh, PC or you can uh, just don't do any of that pick it up and it'll automatically pop towards you because why wouldn't it do that do that a couple times and it seems to go where you want it it could be a little straighter um, let's be honest uh, and then the other one will just snap to it and I turned that one because I have OCD not because it's needed to any way shape or form Make sure this facing inward and this one on this side is facing inward. And uh, instead of picking up this one, which I just picked up, or we don't want to pick that one. If you want to pick this one up, and then you can just delete this one on the inside. And so we have this ring <coughs> of laryngitis. No, that, uh, that, that, don't worry about that. The bug that I didn't feel crawling on my arm probably just flew down my throat. It's not a big deal. Uh, I've tanked worse things. Uh while trying to record, including a sucker punch to the gonads. I just made that up because I like how that sounds. So let's just move this to foundations that are concrete uh, because I like using up all the concrete I have, uh, making stupid blueprints in a workshop during a rad storm, which actually looks pretty neat, you know? Uh, this is probably the best part of the video, so let's take a good look at it together. Uh, let's now blueprint this stuff and uh did that okay sometimes it's hard to see when you've selected some of the wall pieces and stuff like the foundations it's obvious that you have but i don't know so this will be a nice little bay window and you can name this whatever you want i'm gonna call it bay window because you know that's what it is and i would recommend testing it before deleting everything like i just did in case you want to make minute adjustments uh, but I really had the balls of steel on the day I recorded this, apparently. Or, I, what is that also called? Stupidity. And then let's place this down. It'll flip that in so that we have this. And the foundation is in the shape of the bay window. We can then delete this and slap on some glass half panes to create a nice little bay window. And, of course, build the building off of that. And um, also my chicks from San Fran. So stay out my bay area. If this is flickering like that and giving you a seizure, put something that's specifically not the Enclave medallion down because no one asked for that. In fact, why do we even have that in the game? Thank you so much for the 40-foot football field-sized carpet. Now we're going to make 
the favorite circle of glory that's not what it's called it's just a circular blueprint and uh this is one of the oldest uh special building tricks that i can think of and um i didn't obviously come up with this it's been in the game since the days of jug and all his glory uh but basically uh, we're gonna make this be something with a easier to read texture like this one so that when we spin it we can line up the middle with that diagonal um, a little bit and then we can just snap out into these edges and that reduces the amount of walls that we have to free place by half and so what you're going to do is just throw on some doorways on all these Doorways, as you may know, can be deleted out from underneath without any problems. Slap some foundations on the outside of those, delete all the ones in the middle, and then eyeball into the corners, the fill in the blanks, check the edges, and adjust as needed so that you have nice uh, flat lines. You can only um, do this now, so take your time with it. Um, also, the uh, there's like a weird little thing where I've seen people use other walls for this, but the problem is if you want to replace those walls, uh, if you end up with something thinner, you'll see all the gaps and stuff. So I recommend using the thinnest walls, which are these, or the barn walls, which I don't recommend ever using because they look like shit, um, to create blueprints that use walls because they have the, the smallest um, uh, size. So if you can line up, like if you can get these ones to have good edges, all the other walls that you'll replace to will have good edges. So that's why I use these warehouse walls in my blueprints. I think they're quite delicious looking and I just wanna grab onto it and get some quick old tetanus, don't you think? Mm. So let's just, uh, it's really, I have to admit, like, this is probably engaging and gripping. Um, so I hope that you are able to contain your absolute excitement and that there's nothing running down your leg in the panicked frenzy that you may be feeling upon watching this part of the, of the video. Um, but if you can hold it together, we're almost to the good part. And you're really going to like this if you've been liking it so far. I gotta say, it's only it's only uphill from here. Oh boy. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to be including in the description a bunch, all of these uh, timestamps for each one. And as well, if, if I know where I learned the method from, I'll have a link for that next to that. Um, but at the end of this video, there is a new blueprint that I'm excited to show that I haven't seen anyone use before. So let's, uh, let's, uh, really hang on to our hats for that moment. Uh, it's gonna make this all worth it, believe me, he said, crossing his fingers behind his back like it's a 1940s film. There, now you're just gonna call this Rupa Round, I guess just Round. And then when you look at the blueprint you've made that's called round, you'll see that it has, oh, a wooden foundation. That was an accident, but that's probably fine. We can save it. Also, let's take this moment to swirl it in the air for no reason, wasting everyone's uh, valuable time and looking into the woods with it, even though we know there's no chance in hell it can be placed there because there's a fucking fence over there, Mr. Church. And also, 666 concrete i don't know about that that's the devil's number that's the sign of satan i don't know about that better spend it so we don't have that anymore i just hate that number god i hate that number oh my god in heaven jesus christ well now we've got this placed and boy isn't it round just like the the title suggested it would be and uh Let's just, as you can see, you can place, you know, let's, I can't, this needs to be uh, not that anymore. Just can't do it anymore. 
You can replace the walls with anything you want. You can replace the floors with anything you want, but of course it'll be kind of weird looking with all it uh, intersecting with each other and stuff. The next one we're going to be doing is uh, something I learned from a Japanese YouTuber. I have no idea how to pronounce their name correctly, so I'm just going to tell you check them out please in the description. Um, and this is a, a really cool, uh, this is actually how, how I figured out like what's going on here with how these blueprints work. Because it's using the same concept that the poles and the free placing walls and the free placing stairs are using. And that is those items that wouldn't be normally uh, free placeable are snapped together. And then there's some other item that's giving th an override of being able to be placed which is the floor item so the rug in this case it could be anything though that can be placed on the ground um right uh, where is it there it is can now be placed down because those catwalks are supporting each other for some reason the they're passing that support over to the rug which is then allowing that to be placed down it is crazy but you can use this to um put catwalks wherever you want and also to put walls in places that maybe our other blueprints won't work like on top of a foundation for example you can't use our f free place walls because it will say that it needs support or something or that oh that it's floating right but you can place this down and then you'd be able to snap a wall to that so it might be a little bit harder to line up but it is a thing that will let you do that quite quickly and easily but building upon this idea that I got from uh, this uh, youtuber I realized that I could probably apply the same logic to these cover bridge and the middle piece of the cover bridge I've always wanted to place down because it doesn't have the it doesn't have the legs so if you do two of those pieces and a floor item somewhere I'm just gonna call it free place covered bridge I guess um, you should be able to place this down just like we placed those catwalks. Um, so this would allow us to use also the half piece. Like we wouldn't like the only place you can place these down is to snap them to the bigger piece. So this would let us use the small one alone without needing anything else. As you can see, you can just slap it down, and you this could be a little shed. It sinks down into the ground lower. <clears throat> than, than the other one does. The bug is in my throat still. I don't know what kind of insect it is, but we can probably worry about the insecticide mouthwash later. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but if, if you delete this, you have that little slice of it, which could be applied in, in many builds. And uh, I'm going to make a second one where the rug is lowered down so that I can probably just place these up in the air like we did with the catwalks so that they're floating and then that allows me to put them in other p positions as well but i'm really excited about this uh blueprint i haven't used it in a build yet but i am going to uh soon believe me it's uh i think there's actually quite a bit of applications for it and um i hope you guys I find some use out of this video. Uh, I didn't really want to make it uh, because I wasn't sure how many people would die of boredom. Um, but if any of you get any use out of this, then it will be a, it will be worth it. Um, and I hope that it's helpful for you. And I hope there's something in here that's helpful for you. Uh, but yeah, this works really nice. And it, as you can see, it just places right down and then you can get, get rid of the rug and... If you pick up that one, it'll get rid of the other one. But if you pick up that one, that means you can delete that one because it's not supporting the other one at all. Then you can have this little half slice somewhere. Um, but this has really been fun. I want to give a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you're not yet, s and also my channel members as well. If you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. I also stream on Twitch. If you want to follow me over there, the link is in the description. I have a Discord. Get in there, bro, and I'll see you in the next video.
Right, Lippy?